Meanwhile, a bill in Ohio allowing education staff to carry guns in schools with reduced training is on its way to Governor Mike DeWine's desk. As 13 News reporter Lane Ball explains, one school district in southern Ohio is all for arming their staff and has been for a while. Following the mass shooting at a Texas elementary school that left 21 people dead, other state legislators are taking a second look at their laws restricting concealed firearms in schools. An Ohio bill that would change the state's current law regarding this matter has been approved in both the House and the Senate. It's now being fast-tracked to Governor Mike DeWine's desk. And as the law stands right now, if a school district approves it, staff would have to go through 737 hours of required peace officer training. But House Bill 99 allows any adult in a public or private school to carry a concealed firearm in a school safety zone with reduced training. Before the legislation was even discussed, Rock Hill Schools has been open on their stance on educators being armed. And it's plain to see by warnings that have been placed on the front front doors of school buildings. These signs read, by authorization of the Rock Hill Local School District Superintendent, Rock Hill Local School District staff is trained and armed. Any attempt to harm children or staff will be met with whatever force necessary to protect our students. I spoke with several school district parents asking one simple question, and many had the same answer. Do you feel that your, your children are safe? I, I sure do. I have no worries out there. I think the Rock Hill is doing a wonderful job on securing our kids, you know. Other parents also believe there should be extensive gun safety training before firearms enter a school building, but they say the overall goal is there keeping the staff and children safe. Hopefully we never have to use that kind of force, but it's there if need be. Reporting in Ironton, Lane Ball, 13 News. We reached out to Rock Hill Schools for a comment on this recent bill, but have not heard back yet.